Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about something that might not seem too exciting on the surface, but it's interesting and I think it's important, so we should discuss it. I'll give you 10 reasons why everyone should study mathematics. So the first reason is basically problem solving skills. Math is all about problem solving. It teaches you to think critically and logically and to find solutions to problems. And these are problem solving skills that aren't just useful in math class, they applied to real life situations too. If you're having a conflict with someone you're dealing with in the real world. If you can think logically and you apply your problem solving skills that you learn in math to the real world, it's not a direct transition, but a lot of times that same thought process can be applied to do real life situation. Carefully think about the problem, think about what your options are, and then you take the best possible course of action that you can take based on your specific situation. So even though math and the real world are different, you can still apply those same skills, I think, to the real world. Second thing is better grades. Studies have shown that you know people who study math tend to have higher grades in other subjects. I believe it. I mean, that makes sense to me, right? If you're doing really, really well in math, chances are you're doing well in your other classes. Now, there's always exceptions. I've known people who were really good at math, but not very good at other subjects. Um, pretty rare, <laughs> but, but, but it does happen. I used to know a guy who uh, forgot where he was from, but he had a hard time with English, and he would always carry around this little English book, and he was a really big dude with this tiny little book on English 1. But he was brilliant at mathematics, so you know you get stuff like that. But you know, math when you study math, it teaches you how to study and how to learn effectively. So I think that translates over to other classes. The third reason I think that everyone should study math is career opportunities. There's a lot of careers out there that require a strong foundation in math, you know, finance, engineering, you know, data analysis, your programming background in math can open doors to exciting and high paying jobs. Fourth reason is improved critical thinking. Math requires that you think critically and logically. And this skill not only helps you in math class, but in your everyday life as well, you know, you'll be able to make better decisions and solve problems uh, more effectively. You know, the more math you do, I think the better you get at thinking. The fifth reason is one that I've talked about before, and it's, you know, I kind of feel like the brain is a muscle. I mean, I'm, I'm not really a um, doctor or anything, but like brain exercise, it's just like physical exercise, mental exercise is important for you to keep your brain healthy and sharp. So, you know, studying math gives you a brain workout. And a lot of people on the channel here have talked about, you know, how they study math simply so that they can get that, that mental exercise. There's a lot of people who, um, they say they're older, you know, hey, I'm 60, 65, and I'm, I'm going back to math so I can, you know, use my brain because it's important to stay active. You know, if you just watch TV every day and, or just, you know, watch mindless content on the internet and, and you don't think about, um, you know, what you're reading, what you're watching, your brain, <laughs> you know, it needs exercise. So, so math gives you that. That's what I think is good about math. Sixth reason is that it gives you a better understanding of the world around you. So, you know, math is everywhere in our world, from the way we measure time and distance to the way we understand patterns in nature. By studying math, you'll have a deeper understanding of the world around you. Seven is improved communication skills. You know, math requires clear and precise communication. By studying math, you'll learn how to communicate your thoughts and your ideas effectively which will be useful in both personal and professional situations. Eight is improve financial literacy. I think that, you know, the more math you know, the more you can understand finance and, and managing your money. Um, you know, you'll be, you'll be better equipped to make smarter decisions, I think. You can actually see how much money you make. If someone tells you, hey, this is a good stock to buy because it has, you know, X dividend and this is the price and this is the earnings, you can you can make your own decisions and and based on that and based on what you think about the company and you know common sense a lot of common sense should come into play here um hopefully you can make better uh in investing decisions 
there's no perfect way to invest and people have, you know, different opinions, but math can help you. Nine is that it will prepare you for college and beyond. So many college degrees require, you know, a really strong foundation in math. And so by studying math in high school, you'll be better prepared for college and, and what lies after that. And the last reason, reason number 10, going pretty quickly here, I wanted to keep this video short, is it's fun and challenging, right? So last but not least, math can be fun. You know, there's a certain satisfaction that comes from solving a difficult problem or understanding, you know, a new concept. And you get that uh, from mathematics. So yeah, I think with with hard work, you know, anyone can do it. And, and you know, math is you know, that challenging aspect, you know, overcoming that obstacle, figuring out that that proof, um, that's key. That That's really what, um, you know, it's all about, I think. So there you have it, 10 reasons why everyone should study uh, math. You know, math, a lot of people um, don't like math and, and that's okay. But, you know, when, when you start doing it, when you start figuring out problems on your own and you realize how it opens doors for careers, um, it's good for your mind, you're going to look back and you're going to say, hey, I'm really glad that I spent some time doing math. And I really think if you just spend like 30 minutes a day, right? Every day you just take, you just take 30 minutes, you grab a book, like one of these, you know, these are old books. Most of these are probably free now because they're so old. Introduction to Quantum um, Mechanics by Pauling and Wilson. Grab a book like that, you know, or, or this one here, Physics of the Atom. Well, it's a little bit more advanced. Here we go. Methods of Advanced Calculus. It's also pretty advanced, but... Ah, here we go. Something a little bit easier. Differential and integral calculus. Grab a book like this. You know, if you know some basic algebra, this is free. You can find this book on the internet for free uh, because it should be in the public domain. And this is a book that has answers to every single exercise. Right? It has answers to all the problems. So you can learn calculus with an old book like this that's free. And, you know, you just do 30 minutes a day and I think you'll get all those benefits that that I just discussed. So... I don't know. I think I think math is one of those things that you know, people talk about doing cardio, you know, three days a week because, you know, good for your heart and stuff like that. Or, you know, they'll make there's all kinds of things like, you know, do 30 minutes of cardio three days a week and it's good for you. I think something can be said about doing math for like a set interval uh, a, a few times a week, even if you never go to higher math or, or just you're reviewing stuff, as long as you get your mind to think um, and you'll be surprised at how much math you can learn uh, just by by doing, you know, 30, 45 minutes a day. So, yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to give you some reasons why I think everyone should do math. And hopefully this video has been informative and you, you've learned something. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Until next time, good luck, take care, and more importantly than anything, keep doing math.